In this video, we'll show you how to create and configure a new site in Burp Suite Enterprise Edition. A site is essentially just a representation of any website or web application that you want to scan. As a lot of the functionality and scan data is managed on a site-by-site -site basis, you'll need to create a site before you're able to launch any scans. So after logging in, hover over the Sites menu and select Add a new site. First of all, you need to add a few basic details about your site. So we'll start out by giving it a name. This can really be anything you like, it's just something to help you identify the site later. If you want to, you can add your site to a specific folder. As you can see here, I've got a European Sites and a US Sites folder in my site tree. But um, if you're just starting out, you won't have any folders to add this to, so we'll just leave that blank. In a production environment, you might have multiple different machines for running scans on. In this case, you can use machine pools to control which machine is used to scan which site. But again, as we're just starting out, we'll just assign this site to the default pool. Next, you just need to enter the main URL for your site. This is the top level URL that you want to include in scans of this site and it's where all of your scans will start from before crawling and auditing any other endpoints that are discovered along the way. And that's really it in terms of the basic configuration. If you want, you can already scroll down to the bottom, click save and go and schedule some scans of this site. But just in case, let's go over a few of the advanced options that are available. Under advanced options, you can enter a list of additional URLs that you want to include in the scope of this site. This lets you pull in different domains or paths that all collaborate together to form a single application that you want to scan. You can also specify any URLs that you want to exclude from scans. You might do this, for example, to avoid scanning fragile functionality that might be broken by some of the more aggressive scan checks, or you might just want to skip certain locations to avoid performance issues. By default, all URLs are scanned using both HTTP and HTTPS, but if you prefer, you can manually specify the protocol for each URL you list and select the option to scan using only your specified protocols. If you want to scan functionality or endpoints that are only available to authenticated users, you can specify application logins that Burp Scanner can use to log into the target site. For simple login functions that are all on a single page and just require you to enter a username and password, you can provide sets of login credentials for Burp Scanner to use during the crawl and audit. When Burp Scanner identifies a login form, it will attempt to log in using each of the sets of credentials that you've provided. For more complex login processes that use single sign-on, for example, you can use our browser extension to manually record yourself performing the login sequence and then upload it here. In this case, Burp Scanner will use the script that the extension generates to replicate your actions during the crawl. We'll cover recorded login sequences in more detail in a separate video. Scan configurations let you fine-tune virtually everything about Burp Scanner's behaviour, including what sort of checks it performs. You can select a scan configuration each time you create a new scan, but if you want, you can specify a default configuration for this site so that it's pre-selected for you. In this case, I'm going to create a quick scan that will crawl for a maximum of 10 minutes and only perform light active audit checks. We'll cover exactly how scan configurations work in more detail in a separate video. Once you're happy with everything, just click save and your site will be added to the site tree. You can see a list of all the sites you've already configured at any time by clicking the sites button at the top of the screen. This shows all of the sites that you've configured so far, as well as a few key details such as the number of issues found by the most recent scan and some information about the current scan status. As we touched on before, you can also group your sites into folders. So as you can see here, I've got a European Sites folder and a US Sites folder. How you group your sites is really up to you. You could do it based on their geographical location like I've done here, or based on the development teams that work on them, for example. Really just whatever makes sense for you. To create a new folder, just click New Folder and give it a name. You can drill down into any of your sites to view more information about them. As we haven't run any scans yet, most of these tabs are empty. 
So for now, let's focus on the Details tab. On the Details tab, you can see all of the configuration options that you selected when creating the site, and you can edit them if you want to. For the sake of an example, let's add this site to the folder we just created. And as you can see, the site has now been added to the folder. So now you know how to create a site in Burp Suite Enterprise Edition.